A heartbroken mother is mourning the loss of her second son. She says her 15 year old was killed shortly after she dropped him off to spend time with a friend. Police say the teen and an adult were both shot Saturday afternoon in southwest Atlanta. Fox News Janice Yu has details. This is the second son Belinda Oliver has lost to violence. She says she's still coming to terms with the death of her oldest son, and now she's getting ready to bury another one. I'll see you later. I'll talk to you later, Kelvin. It's all right, Mom. That was the last time Belinda Oliver spoke to her son, Kelvis Roberson. She dropped the 15 year old off to hang out with an older friend Saturday afternoon, and she drove to work. Before I get to work, the clock in. They called me and told me my son was on shot. When Oliver got to Grady Memorial Hospital, she learned her son was dead. Atlanta police say another man was shot but survived. Investigators say the shooting happened on Windsor Street in southwest Atlanta. They say it likely happened during the sale of a gun between people who knew each other. Police have not announced any arrests. How could you be so cold like that? I mean, that's a 15 year old, that's a child. Like, what, what that he did? Um, to you all that really make you want to shoot them in the back of your head like that. Oliver says her son was a ninth grader at South Atlanta High School. He was artistic, loved to draw and rap. She says he was never without a smile. Anything you need, he'll try to be there for you. Unfortunately, Oliver has endured the pain of losing a child once before. Her oldest son was shot and killed in 2017. He was just 18 at the time. She said she never thought she'd lose another child to violence. It seems like the mean people just seem like they got the devil on them. It's like... Let's just go kill. Let's just go kill. Oliver says she's not emotionally or financially ready to bury another child. If you'd like to help her out, you can find out how to do so on our website, fox5atlanta.com. In Atlanta, Janice U, Fox 5 News.